Really? <laughs> I had to go down one space. Okay. Yeah, the climbing mechanics in the first one was touchy. Very touchy. <laughs> if you don't do the proper input, you're, you're not climbing. <laughs> right, any more? I think there are. Oh, yeah, three more. <laughs> Uh, hi guys. I don't want to fight. You guys are assholes. <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have a huge army on my ass. <laughs> That's gonna be so funny. Hara <laughs> hara. <laughs> See you later, suckers. I'll fight you on the rooftops. See you in the clubs. Oh, he's climbing too slow. He's gonna get hit by a rock. Oh, shit. Well, let's fight down here, I guess. They're all trying to grab me. You're in the way. Get out of here. <laughs> I should probably check her Discord. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, well, I am a part of Oh, there's a Templar. Oh, oh, what the hell was that? Ah, I hate that. Oh, that's how you dodge that. No, bad Templar. You Templar dead. Four out of sixty. See, finding all the Templars weren't too bad. Not as bad as flags. So I think there's a total of sixty in the game. So unlike the what three hundred plus, four hundred plus flags in the game. There's only like 60 Templars, so... If there's any collectible you can do... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I can't... Son of a bitch. There's probably a better way to climb. Yeah, I'm just over here. There's always a better route. So many people have died in each city because of me. All because they're just doing their job. <laughs> Anyone needs to be assassinated is Altair. What the hell, man? The mass murder in all all manner of ways. <laughs> well, at least the way I play. <laughs> it's like the way I play the Assassin's Creed. It's like screw stealth. <laughs> With the other Assassin's Creed, though, I think starting with two and all that, they kind of force you in stealth situations. There's nowhere to run, old man. Well, while I'm here, might as well do some eavesdropping. Right. There's a problem. I need your advice. What is it? This morning, I went to hang the lanterns for the party. And this troubles you, why? I... I forgot to remove the scaffold. Man. Forgot it where? I'm surprised I Just haven't outside, seen Nick in my channel. Above the balcony. <laughs> well, what if it falls? It could be hurt. It was a temporary <laughs> ban. I'm wondering now. if we will ever find it out. Notice. <laughs> you can deal with it tomorrow. I just wanted to ban him for a day. It felt good. <laughs> I just wanted to ban Nick for a day. Might even ban him in the channel for a day. 
<laughs> just because I can. <laughs> Is that mean of me? Is that mean? I feel I feel a little feel a little dirty. <laughs> Technically, he was spamming that stupid phrase constantly. Guess that deserved a 24-hour ban. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, I'm gonna calm your tatas. If he does it again, it's another 24-hour ban. What? But Vince, what? He was crying. No, he's crying in the club. <laughs> Constantly. To be honest, I gave him the ban because there might be people actually dying during the cyclone. I don't. I can't confirm that, but I was about to say if he's saying shit like that while people are actually probably dying in their cars, I'm yeah, I'm gonna ban him for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, I'm not making jokes about this cyclone because the people are actually really in trouble right now. So if you're going to make jokes like that, uh, I'm probably going to ban you for a bit. <laughs> but so far, I don't know if there were any like casualties, but, you know, people's people lives were definitely affected. There was a lot of property damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, everyone's like insurance probably went up. The infidel king would see us all wiped from the world. Ah, here we go. We force the Christian king and his army of infidels. They go against the will of God and must be made to pay. Well, people have died in this state when people got snowed in to their car because they never find the car or something like that. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Let me get up on here first. Thank you. No! Let's see if he comes over here. I think he's climbing the building right now. I can't tell. Nope. Good thing I checked. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Hopefully he can't shoot me from this side. Nah, I can't. Just try not to go right side. And I think, like, the biggest risk if you're getting snowed into your car is if you have no way to, like, warm yourself up. Or, uh, I think the biggest problem was, uh, people's tailpipes being clogged up. Thus, you know, killing the person inside with gas poisoning. What? Not climbing? Get off this. Wow, she's gonna shoot at me. Ah, come on, man. Waiting for him to shoot at me. I don't remember if... Hmm. You thinking these? Oh, now he climbs! Come on, man. Killing me, I'll tell you. It's like, oh, I can't climb the barb, uh, the barred, uh, window, apparently. <laughs> it's like, what? You can't grab onto the bars? <laughs> Even a little bit? Man, this is quite the building. That guy is still looking for me. He is definitely dedicated. Give that guy a raise. <laughs> he is dedicated. It's like, I will not give up until I find a heathen. One more. That's the last one. Then I'm just gonna do those other things. 
I'm gonna do the main ones. Oh, there's an eavesdrop one I can do. Right here. Just gotta find the eavesdrop location. Ah, stop it! No! Asshole. The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may be gone. Yeah, I think I see Mega. For they will soon know. And never did we destroy <laughs> a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Mega, I didn't know you're in Damascus. Be about your business, as you wish. Waiting for him to respond to that. It's like, ah, stop it. Uh, I think the big, the most annoying NPCs in the game are the uh, the beggars and the insane people. What? You will die here. Checkpoint. Man, the kick in the nuts and then the sh the sword right between your neck and shoulder, man. That's gotta suck. Oh, hey. You can't just kill someone. I just did. So tell me otherwise. Or be gone with you. I think this is okay. Oh, it's another one of these buildings. The puzzle in its own right. I think that was another thing that a lot of people liked about the early Assassin's Creed is that they kind of tried to make the climbing somewhat puzzly, even though they weren't really super hard or anything like that, but still helped to keep the climbing kind of interesting, solving like its own little puzzle, the physical puzzle. Hmm. So yeah, I guess what I was gonna try and do morning stream tomorrow. I like I don't really know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I was like kinda of thinking to myself, like I'm in a I'm in a racing mood. I might play a racing game tomorrow before Assassin's Creed. No, and I won't do the Forza endurance run uh the endurance races don't worry <laughs> if i'm gonna play this if i'm gonna play a racing game it might be like dirt uh dirt rally or something like that i don't know I and if people don't want to watch that all you guys all you have to guys have to do is tell me <laughs> your trucking is a racing game against the clock <laughs> don't break any laws and you'll be okay Let's do these. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of speed through the rest of this game. I'm not going to try and do everything. Uh, my health my health is pretty much on par to not worrying about like the last few fights. So I think we're good. I'm not really worried about my health. Oh, are you kidding me? Is it actually too high for him to jump? No! When will he stop acting like a fool? 
when will you stop being an ass? That will be the day. <laughs> Grab that. Stop this, please. You're yeah. Oh, oh, Don't worry about me. I'm just. <laughs> I'm having a hard time assassinating the guys I want. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can dodge that now. Stop getting in the way of the kill camp. I like Call of Duty players. <laughs> it's always funny I hope so. watching people play Call of Duty though not to take any and how like I'll hurry home. watching every Think kill cam again soon or like You've the last kill of the game Be assured, and I won't kind of finding out that everyone that plays Call of Duty are really bad shoot like they're really bad at aiming <laughs> it's, like, it's really funny it's like wow your aim was all over the place wasn't it Oh, you don't see me killing him. No, you dare look up. No, nope. I want you to look up. Altair, my friend, uh, my it's brother. a flag one. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abu Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you, but I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Mm. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. Oh, okay. Assassination mission. So I got three minutes to assassinate my targets. Cool, cool. I thought it was a flag thing for a second. It's like, I hate the flag ones. Don't you be flagging me. I'm not YouTube. No, don't do this. Not right now. <laughs> don't sabotage me, Lara. No. Oh. Lara's trying to sabotage me. Oh, yeah, time mission. Yeah, that's why. I want to sabotage. You're waiting until I'm talking. <laughs> no. Who wasn't that great? Great. Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. Damas. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to get used to Huckleberry. <laughs> Huckleberry is really good. It is a good berry. It's kind of like a blueberry slash raspberry. Uh, well, the one thing about people in uh, Montana, they're obsessed with their huckleberry. Yes, they are. They it's have like, huckleberry man, everything. I'm getting good favor with the crowd. Let's do that. <laughs> Make yourself a huckleberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. I want that. <laughs> no, now that I said that the people, it's like huckleberry cheesecake. Uh? Sounds good. <laughs> Hey, that's what you could do for some extra money. You like talk to one of the local like places and be like, "Hey, we could provide you with huckleberry cheesecake every week." What I could do is like talk to a local store saying, yeah. "Hey, this cheesecake was made by our berries that we sell in the store." <laughs> Get down. My target's like in the. Okay, he's right there. No, no, it's not him. Trouble. Shh. See eh, wrong guy. Not again. Leave me alone. <laughs> it was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? I don't think I'm gonna finish this tonight, to but we'll find out. <laughs> Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. I got a lot more dudes to assassinate, so. <laughs> Might not happen. Right, gotta pickpocket this dude.
Oh, perfect. <laughs> right between the columns. Next. Sorry. Did he just knock that out of your hand? Let's kill him. <laughs> Dude, ah, someone just lock that guy up, man. He just keeps pushing me. He's abusing me, officer. <laughs> Do this interrogation one. <clears throat> there is no one more generous than Abu Lukut. Every week he opens his doors to the people of Damas that they may lay down their burdens and no joy. <laughs> our Damn days it. may be dark, but there thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The merchant king provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. Oh, is he gonna? Okay. Excuse me. What were you doing? You are not supposed to be here, me. Fuck, fuck. Don't shit at me, don't shit at me. Fuck! Ooh, there we go. Drop down! I need him to turn the corner. Bunches hurt. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the merchant king. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. Stay your tongue. Alright, I think I just have one more and I got all the information. my informant over here oh he might be in the palace safety and peace you want information about the city I suppose Right now, I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of Damask. Get old with this flags. Heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags and I'll help you as best I can. Is this timed? <laughs> hate time flag missions. Thank you. 
I don't even know if they're in order anymore. <laughs> Jump there. Well, I missed one. Flags will be the end of me. Kidding me? I think they might be the end of me. <laughs> Flag missions suck. Man, they're not that bad, but. Come on, man. Away with you. Just want to get this flag. Eh. On the wrong side. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't get caught. Thank you. Verafik will be happy to see these flags returned. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. It's probably the only way to get to him, <laughs> is the freaking fountain. I think I was in his palace not too long ago, and... Time to go back to the Bureau. Or as I say, the Bureau of Investigations. Let's see, is this a way to get out? Can't see. Can't see. I'm gonna have to just go through and I'm gonna get in trouble. I always know there's a way to get around it, but I just, I just don't feel like it, man. I wonder if I can just do this. I am a scholar. I am a scholar. Nope. <laughs> nope. I like how they take turns. It's kind of nice. Makes the fights. E e e Stop it. Makes the fights easier. Ah! Oh, that killed him. I forgot you could do that. There's environmental kills. Will that kill? Oh, no. Too far away. That pissed him off. I get some daggers. Oh, come on! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Is this an infinite guard spawn? Find some thieves so I can pickpocket them. That's not a thief. It's not a thief. There's a thief. Mm -hmm -hmm. They hardly check behind them. You. Yep. Got the maximum amount of knives I need. 
use that for the people shooting arrows in the next mission. Hey! Crazy person, stop it! Oh! You ran into me! Both hands out and everything. I was blind. <laughs> Oh, sorry. So much busy work. Did you guys ever think that I'm a very busy person? running around because I am very important things to do. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Nakud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. You good? Okay. <laughs> Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Speed speaking of stretching legs, I'll probably stretch my legs after this uh after this chapter or memory block. Okay, don't grab onto the post. See what I care. So easy, man. Oh, this statue in the middle? Hi, girl. I think that's him up there. Oh no, he's right there. Yeah, I remember this dude. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, I didn't. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. If I remember correctly, something's in the wall, uh, the wine. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must <coughs> enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadim bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then, to you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Hmm. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruelly. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back 
Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledged myself to another oh. cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> yep, poison. And anyone that didn't drink. I'm gonna use the uh, archers to kill him. Kill anyone who tries to escape. Oh, that didn't work out too well. Isn't there a... Oh yeah, I think he went to the... He went over here. He's a big fat boy and he's running like... Wow, he's like a hog in heat. <laughs> he's a hog in heat. Wee wee. Hey, go boy, go. <laughs> right in front of his guards. <laughs> Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead, sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the loss of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. You will not be here. Oh, I got pushed down. Wee. See you guys later. I just wish he climbed a tad bit faster. Oh, hi. Hi. 
I'd have your head. <laughs> like how he hung on the edge of this thing. Like, dude, come on, man. Hmm. I think I'm good to pop up my head out. Assassin's Bureau. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Cool, 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 cool. Fast forward. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah or by pickpocketing thugs. Trust me, there's plenty of thugs. I don't think you need to return to Mother Base. Come out of here. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? No I'm more. the one who does the killing. <laughs> if you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. What you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Salle. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah ad -Din? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. 
Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. <laughs> Altair, <clears throat> before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. What's this? Extra throwing knives! Yay! Practice in the courtyard. Cool, cool. 